Hello, my name is Olivier Perge. I'm from Hungary and I will show you some tricks how to do the Rubik's clock faster. To make things clear, this is not a tutorial video about how to solve the Rubik's clock. This is a video for the ones who can solve the clock uh, with the Pokemon method and uh, average around like 10 or 12 seconds and want to get faster. First of all, make sure that your clock is lubricated so uh, the only thing you have to do is to spray some silicone into the corners and then it will be much better so make sure to do that key for getting faster is to uh, use lucky cases almost every official scramble for the Rubik's clock has at least one lucky case so uh, for example if you see an easy cross an easy X cross in uh, 3x3 for example you, you have a block here and you can put this edge easily in its place and you can build an X cross and you use it if you are an expert or if you uh, see that the white cross is hard uh, you search for yellow and you found it easy then you, you will start with that's true for uh, Rubik's clock if you find an easy case and you know how to use it you will start with that and you will go on because uh, an average solution for Rubik's clock is around uh, 12 or 13 moves and we can decrease it for like 9 or 10 with lucky cases there are two types of lucky cases in uh, Rubik's clock I will demonstrate both of them this is an official scramble from the VCA page and uh, I used it for scramble the clock and it has both of the lucky cases the first case, when you see two edges, let's call them edges, that they are in the same clock, but they not not uh, next to each other. Uh, the thing you have to do to put put the center next to them, and you will start with this. So uh, in the Pokemon method, you put the twelve clock in the top. But now uh, we will uh, put the lucky case on top because that's faster. So it will be like this. So now it's uh, 9 on top. And you will solve this lucky case with one move. You push that pin and push out the other. And put, the put together these pieces. And then uh, you will go on like normally in the Pokemon method and you solve all the edges to 12. You don't have to rotate the cube back to 12 because it's it's really not necessary. And as I told you, uh, there is another lucky case which is easier to find out. It's, it's in the other side. When uh, two clocks, two edges next to each other are in the same place. Uh, in this case also we don't put uh, 12 on top, we put the lucky case on top and we will start with start with them so they, they are in the same clock and I will simply put them next to the other and I will go on like normal in the Pokemon method and uh, also here you, you don't have to rotate the uh, clock to 12 you just go on with the corners in order you want and then just simply put the clocks on 12 without rotating the puzzle and the clock is solved. Let's see an example solve for Rubik's clock. So, the thing I, I do uh, an in inspe inspection to search for lucky cases. In this side I can see two edges next to each other in the same clock, so that's a lucky case for me. And I, I just memorize that I will use that. And I'm searching lucky case for the other side. It's also an official scramble, so it's it's a very lucky case because three clocks are in the same place so you can choose which you want to use so uh, it's easy because uh, you can do it in the same order you did 12 on top but if you want you can choose the other one and put 9 on top and go on with these lucky cases and if you have two lucky cases the pins uh, could help you to choose for example uh, for this lucky case you would start with this pin and it's already pushed so maybe it would be better and then now you 
have to memorize how uh, would you uh, rotate the cube to use the other lucky case. So uh, I just memorized that the lucky case will be on the top, so in 12. So after use, after use this one, after I solve the edges, I will turn the clock like this. And then I know that I have to turn this clock three, uh, four times anti-clockwise. So the solve would be like this. Another example solve, it's also a, an official scramble. Again, I am searching for lucky case, uh, which is here on this side. So I know if I uh, will uh, solve this side, I will hold it like this. So one lucky case, and I search for another one in the other side. And uh, sure, I can see another one. So uh, I will hold the clock like this. So I just have to remember the bottom is on top, so 6 is on top uh, in this side, and then just go on with the solve. Uh, in case uh, I can start with the other side because the pins are pretty unlucky for this one, because I have to start with this, so uh, in this case I will uh, remember that I have to put the clock on 3, with 3 on top, so let's go. It's also lucky case. The last edges, uh, edge was at 12. So I, uh, I will rotate the clock like this. And then go on with the other side. Another example solve. Uh, again, I'm searching for lucky cases. Uh, sure, it goes like this. So I have one lucky case here, but also I have another one here. But uh, as you can see, the pin is al already uh, done to do this one, so I choose this. And I, uh, I will put the clock on with uh, three on top. So I will start this one. And then I'm searching for lucky case the other side. And here you go, you have another one. And I, uh, I remember that I have to put this also in 3, so it will be like this. So I solve these edges and just rotate the clock like this. It's really easy. So let's go with the solve. Ah, there you go. Extremely easy. You use the other lucky case, so put all them on 12. And let's just rotate the cube and go on. So in the corners, and the clock is solved. Another example of solve, this time it's for uh, real time, so I will do it fast, I hope. So, as for usual I'm searching for lucky case. Here is the lucky case, so I will hold the clock like this and start with this pin. And searching for another, another one. This is here, so again it's easy, you just have to rotate the clock like this and then solve the other side. So let's see. As you can see, all the sides are solved, and the time is 8.81, which is a very good time, I guess, officially, but very easy to get one with these scrambles and with these lucky cases. I hope you found these tricks good and you will get better with them, but if you want to get really, really fast, just make sure to get a sticker which says the best fees. Good luck and have fun.